The honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who grew well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. I just want to say the water to all the Akim and Nakwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Not going to be that long. Um, but this is, um, if you've ever heard of this, uh, it's called Money Wise. And they have pretty decent, um, you know, information, you know, they normally do, you know, uh, interactions with people that are foul or fucked up with their money, <laughs> spending, things of that nature. But they touch on um, a lot of money, um, subjects and topics. And I just seen this one pop up in my feed. So wanted to get a little something on it because this is a part of end days prophecies and we have to um, stay on top of these prophecies, man, to warn the flock, let our people know how close we are to getting the hell out of here. And um, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, falling flat on his face and then going directly into slavery. <laughs> like for real. So, But it says, um, down for the count, Peter Schiff urges Americans to get ready for a major dollar, de a major dollar decline. Predicts end of the greenback as global reserve currency. Check that out. All right. It says economist Peter Schiff has warned Americans to get ready for the major dollar decline. The genesis of his gloomy outlook for the greenback will come as no surprise to those who understand Schiff's gold first investing philosophy. And yeah, um, I heard um, it was a bro uh, the brother out in San Francisco. He was talking about how he had went and bought some gold and silver, I think, yesterday. And, and you know, he, he did go off into the fact that, you know, he knows eventually that, you know, things are going to. Even the gold and silver is not going to be um, any good anymore anyway. But, you know, it's something to still kind of look into right off. You know, it's going to outlast um, what's about to happen with this, this bullshit ass greenback. OK, but he says, I think gold, I think gold is telling us that the dollar is going down again. And this time it's going down for the count. The 61 year old said recently on Patrick Bet David's P, um, PBD podcast. Gold prices soared to a record highs in early April, fueled by central banks bolstering their bullion reserves amid geopolitical tensions. I think the dollar is going to be knocked off its pedestal, ship added. I think it's going to lose its status as a reserve currency. Is he right about the future of the greenback? And then they have, um, it's entitled here, subtitle D, dollarization. Shift is predicting a phenomenon known as de-dollarization. When countries shift away from the greenback as a reserve currency, medium of exchange, or unit of account. It's true that the dollar has experienced a slow decline in the recent years. IMF data shows the greenback shares of global allocated foreign exchange reserves has fallen by around 7% since early 2016. But the central banks still rely heavily on the U.S. dollar with the currency accounting for 58.41% of reserves in the fourth quarter of 2023, compared to euro at 19.98%, the, the Japanese yen at 5.7%, and the British pound sterling at 4.84%, and China's um, yuan at 2.29%. Rather than losing its global reserve throne the, to another currency, SHIP is more interested in data that shows central banks are ditching the dollar in favor of a shinier and more stable alternative gold. It's supposed to be gold anyway. Here you go out here, you know, of these currencies with the so-called white man face on them. Even um, so-called white woman face in some um, cases, you know, because you had the Queen of England or whatever, you know. You know all that fake ass money, man. That's not um, real assets, man. But see, this is Esau Edom. He he has stored up all the, you know, the, the gold resources, you know, and it's really for the kingdom. They they, they ain't going to do nothing but, you know, nice, nice having it for us, you know, because all they're going to do is for, fork it over to us. That's what's going to happen in the kingdom. We're going to build up with that gold, all this gold they've been stacking up in these vaults and shit forever. Right. OK, it says um, gold has already broken out. He told Bet David. Alluding to the fact that central banks bought gold at breakneck pace in 2023, per the World Gold Council, WGC, with annual net purchases of 1,037 tons 
God damn, just 44, just 45 times short of the 2022 record. Man, that's a lot of fucking gold, bro. My goodness gracious. You know a ton is 2,000? Man, let me add this up. God damn. What was it? Let me let me see if I can find a dang on calculator in this motherfucker. Golly, man. Hey, Esau Kaken. This is how you know that, um, you know, he was given that fatness of the earth. So they said a, a thousand and thirty seven tons. So a thousand and thirty seven times two thousand. That's two hundred and seven thousand. Two hundred and seven thousand four hundred pounds of gold. You know what kind of weight that is? Two thousand and seven. Oh my goodness gracious, man. Esau caking. Hey, hey, this right here is a real. That lets you know that that scripture comes to life where the scriptures talked about um um Esau will be gifted with that sword and he will be um, you know, uh matter of fact, let me get it. I don't want to even butcher it. That is crazy, bro. Man. Oh my goodness gracious. What was that? Uh is it uh Genesis 27? I didn't even know that was in there. God dang, bro, that's a lot of gold, man. Filthy rich. That that, that and you know who you know who's really dealing with? That's the Rothschilds right there, pretty much. These these they, these fucking these banking families, man. Sitting on all the resources of the world, bro. Oh my man. I ain't ooh, man. That that right there. I I I mean, you know, you can kind of imagine some of this stuff, but it's like, man, when you get it in real numbers and you really kind of just be all right, and you still can't fathom. That's a lot of fuck, man. You know how much man. My, 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 my. This dude, man. That's how we know. This is Esau. Edom, the so-called white man. Matter of fact, I'm going to jump straight to the point. Because this is the blessing that Isaac gave him. That fatness of the earth. That's a part of it. This man is, is dealing with all the resources. The oil. I mean, he's even in control over the oceans. This man is in control of the water, man. The air. You can't even fly some shit. You know what I'm saying? This man, this man is in control, man. This is how we know Job 9 and 24. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's him, man. I'm going to start at verse um, 38 because this is where he crying, you know, and, and acting like a biatch. Genesis 27 and 38. And Esau said unto his father, has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shall thy live and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Because see, at one point we had him, you know, um, you know, <laughs> under our foot but then he broke loose but it was time it was prophetic you know what i'm saying but this man has been running the earth and ruling over the earth man with an iron fist man ever since and he's definitely in control of, of, of the resources of this earth that's a lot of fucking gold and this is just a, a, a smidgen of what they bought right you know it says they they were 45 tons short of 2022 so basically let's go back into the calculator Let's go back into the calculator. But I love this. So let's clear this. So you got 45 from 2022. We're going to add that extra 45, right? Let's let's do that real quick. 45 um, plus the 137, right? So we had 1,082 uh, uh, um, tons. 1,082 tons, right? We know that a ton is 2,000 pounds. Fucking crazy. Let me see. Dang, I messed it up. Still, it's around the same thing. It's it's still that that's a lot of damn gold, bro. Forty five plus that one thirty seven. We had ten eighty two times two thousand. <laughs> oh man, 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 am I tripping? You know what I think? Did I mess it up the first time? You know what? I actually I had that wrong. Then let me see again, Salakia. I'm tripping. Plus the 45, right? So we're at 10,000. I mean, we're at uh, 1,082 um, tons. Times. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me, let me, let me, let me break it down. Let's do it like this. So I'm making them, make sure I'm doing this right. Right? Times 2,000. 
I was wrong. Two million is what that should have been. Two million one hundred and sixty four thousand tons, man. Pounds, basically. Two million one hundred and sixty four thousand pounds of gold. We ain't even talking about silver and all this other shit that this motherfucker done stole. We ain't talking about the diamonds, the, the, the rubies, the, the pearls, the emeralds, the... Man, this dude is caking, bro. Hey, that's how you know this Esau, though. Damn. That's a whole nother lesson, man. I, you know, I'm, I ain't even mean to go that route, y'all. It's a lot of you. But I pray that it's edifying, man. It's definitely edifying to me. My goodness gracious. I think was this is what he said. He goes on to say, I think what's going to happen is the world's going to reject the dollar like we rejected gold in 1971. And it's going to go back to a gold standard, Schiff predicted. The gold standard is a monetary system used primarily from the 1870s to 1920s. Man, it's always been a, a gold standard going way back to the days of Abraham and, you know, even further back, you know. But this is Esau. It says where the value of currencies is fixed to be to a specified amount of gold. And that's real money. That's real. That's real assets, man. It says banks buying gold at breakneck pace. The price of gold hit an all-time high in April, and there's still room for it to soar higher. He told CNBC in March, central banks who have bought historic levels of gold over the past two years. Who you think own these, these central banks, man? Esau. Edom, the so-called white man. It's him, man. It says, um, central banks who have bought historic levels of gold over the past two years continue to be strong buyers in 2024 as well. There are many reasons why central banks may be turning to the precious metal. According to the WGC, gold reserves are attractive because of gold's proven value in crisis response. See, it's, the, it's diversification attributes and its ability to retain its value long term. See? So why aren't they paying everybody in gold, man? You sitting on all this fucking gold, bro. If you're convinced by Schiff's argument that the end of the dollar is nigh, there are simple ways to copy the central banks and shore up your investment portfolio with gold. So, hey, this is um, what Esau is doing. I know um, they be having like these. I be listening to some of these uh, so-called white people's talk shows and shit. You know, um, you know, them radio hookups. They might be on like an AM station. <laughs> but Esau be in the backdrop, man, and talking game, man, on his bread, man. And, and they always had those commercials on where, you know, they, you know, they, you know, you can get you an invest, you know, go into your investment portfolio and they'll chop it up with you on, on, on shit like this. And they actually be talking about stuff like this, like they know, you know, things are coming. So load up on some gold, put some gold in your portfolio, some silver, whatever else, man. It says, for example, you could open a, a gold IRA. A type of individual retirement account that allows you to invest in gold and other precious metals in physical forms like coins instead of stocks, mutual funds, and other traditional investments. This gives you an opportunity to both diversify your finances and gold tends to yield less risk than others. See? So Esau know what's up, man. So let me let me grab this too, though. <laughs> Like I said, again, quick little lesson. I didn't know I was going to go up into that Genesis, but that's the spirit, man. Because that shows you Esau is really in control of the earth, man. That's a lot of fucking gold. This motherfucker, two, two, over two million pounds? Two million pounds? Man, look, I see a motherfucker, man, the size of Shaq. 300 pounds, 300 pounds of Shaq. You know, just a, in gold is, is retarded. This motherfucker is sitting on... <laughs> man you can't make this up bro but but you know what that psalm 64 and 8 it also let me get that real quick i'll come back to this psalm 64 and 8 see in subtle ways they tell on themselves it, it doesn't have to necessarily come out of their mouth so to speak you know this it, it's just a, the tallying of, of those numbers it, it shows you who they are man psalm 64 and 8 so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves all that see them shall flee away. See, that, that's an indicator that he's Esau. That's Esau, man. He Didn't we just read that um, Isaac blessed him with the fatness of the earth? That's a part of the fatness of the earth. That's just one thing, man. This motherfucker's in control of all the cattle. He's in control of all the, the, the you know, the, um, you know, just shipping, ex exports, imports in general, man. Cattle, um, um, anything from, you know, um, fish. 
you know, um, the, the sea life and shit like that. He's in control of all those things, man. Oil being pumped, how much can be pumped. He's the one that's coming up with the regulatory um, um, laws as far as like who can, you know, deal with gas and gasoline and making diesel and making kerosene and making all these different things. He's in control of all that shit. He's actually in control of the people. So he has the fatness of the earth. This is Esau, man. And that's just an indicator of, of, of him being told on, man, right there. He's selling on himself. This is um, 2 Corinthians 20, 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And Satan, just the word just goes off into adversary. And Esau Edom is the adversary of the world, especially of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He's the physical counterpart of Satan on the planet, these so-called white people. I'm looking at Euro News in the backdrop right now. I got it on mute. But man, look, these people running the earth. They're the ones that sitting at all these functions and sitting around the table, sanctioning people, talking about, you know, what needs to be done here. We need money over here. And they just, you know, shooting rockets and, you know, and all that war and, you know, talking about banking. And it's no, you don't see number Edomites. You don't see no so-called black people, no so-called Hispanics or Native Americans at none of these places, man, talking like that. Now, I, I get it. It's called Euro News. But still, you know, every now and then you'll see um, some of these Hamites, these African people. So-called Africans, which we're not Africans, you know, we're Shemites. They're, they're, they're Hamites. You have to know that everybody with melanin is not the same people. But, um, yeah, man, I'm looking at it right now. The backdrop, man, they out here, they running everything, bro. But I wanted to get to this point right here because this is what it's all leading up to. And the apostles been talking about, see, all this talks of war, rumors of wars. See, we know that that MOTB, that mark, that mark of the beauty and the beast, it has to come first. And by these wars um, riling up like how they're riling up, they're talking about nuclear war on a everyday basis. So we know that soon that shit is going to happen. So guess how close this market of beauty and the beast got to be because it's got to happen first. And see, that money is is it's got everything to do with it. That de-dollarization, that shit is going hey, to happen. It's going to happen eventually. And they're going to be lining people up and trying to put it, put that goddamn chippity chip chip in your ass. If you don't repent, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, you have to repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the Father and the Son. You have to repent because all this stuff that's going on in the world is really going on because the Lord is flipping his place upside down on behalf of his children or his, his, um, his elect, you know, the elect of Israel, his people, his chosen people that he, you know, the apple of his eye. He's not, you know, he's not thinking about these heathen. These heathen going to get what they're going to get the business. They're going to get what they, you know, got coming to them for what they've done to us as a people. But he's 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 extending a hand right now. And he's, you know, sending the prophets out to let you know, hey, it's high time to awake out of sleep, to repent and to come out of those works of darkness, man. The kingdom is at hand. This is what these videos are all about, man. You know, this is what it's all about right here. Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it for all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. See? This is what it's all boiling down to. And then you got, uh, um, you know, you got these BRICS nations, you got um, Russia, China, you know, uh, um, all these different countries coming together and they're trading and, and doing, you know, um, business deals in their own currency. And they've been getting rid of the dollar anyway. So while everybody running around out here, you know, just looking at all the bullshit, looking at Netflix and Hulu and, 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 and all on damn TikTok doing stupid ass TikTok challenges and all that crazy shit. This man is in the backdrop ready to, um, you know, pretty much overall imprison the population or enslave the, in, the population. And especially you, Jake, man, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He really wants to be in total control of you. See, right now he got us, you know, he's, he, you know, he got Jake under his control. But if he put that chip in you, he really got you. And, and there's no, no turning back, man, because the Lord actually, let's get on chapter 14. You'll see what the results is going to be if you take that shit. Revelation 14 and 9. Let me get start there. And it's actually entitled Doom for worship, Worshippers of the Beast. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh. 
which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So you're going to be tormented, man. You take that shit. And also it goes on to say in chapter 16, talking about them, um, them damn sores that's going to grow on your skin, man. Verse 2, Revelation 16 and 2. And that the first went and the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship his image. So them noisome and grievous sore and they don't tell them what the hell that's going to look like. You already got motherfuckers running around out here with the flesh eating disease on their asses out here taking these these drugs, man. These damn these damn zombies running the streets. You see? You, you you take that shit, man. You're going to be through. It ain't going to be no turning back. There's not going to be no repenting from that, man. So don't let nobody fool you into telling you, oh, yeah, well, you can just dig it out or cut it out. You know, you, you ain't finna cut that shit out of your skin, man. If they, as a matter of fact, Esau, the way he get down, if he even, you know, he's going to know if you're trying to cut it out anyway and turn that shit off and make your ass drop. <laughs> anyway, man. But I, I didn't want to keep this long. I seen this and I'm like, okay, yo. This is a nice little article, man. And let me check out the comments real quick. I didn't I like to see what people have to say. Uh, damn, what is this? Oh yeah, you need the 35 trillion. And this see now a little man keeps spending. We have to get rid of this lifelong politician. Joe has to go. Hey, Joe don't have nothing to do with what's going on with your situation, man. Joe is just a uh one of those people that the Lord set up in, in place to you know do what he's doing you know because according to um the proverbs uh, uh what's that 21 and 20 let me get that real quick the king's hearts are in the hands of the lord man there ain't nothing they can do they 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 plan out prophecy proverbs 21 and 1 the king's heart is in the hand of the lord as the rivers of water he turneth it whithersoever he will so it is what it is, man. It's nothing Joe can do about what's going on, but he got all you people in a stupor, man. This person says dollars are being spent on Israel and Ukraine so big defense contractors can make billions and kick back to those politicians who voted for the bill. Yep, it's simple. Uh, it says wake up. This person says wake up. Dollars are being printed so the wealthy can buy assets. Then the dollar will collapse and the wealthy will have assets to convert into the new replacement currency. Why do you think corporate America is buying one third of all the residential house housing? Um, so assets to cover. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, you got the back and forth with the Democrats. They blaming the Republicans. The Republicans, you know, blaming the Democrats. And that's all separation as well. You know, and, and that's a lot of really what's going on as, as well. You know, with that separation. See, this right here is an important scripture right here. That uh, Matthew, when Yahweh was speaking about that separation of people. Matthew 12 and 25. This is what's really got everything kind of popping too as well. Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? And that's what's happening to America. And not just America, but just um, Edomites in general, worldwide. With your NATO. Your, your See, them NATO um, countries, EU, they should be getting along with Russia. There shouldn't be no fighting against Russia and Ukraine and Americans and, you know, the, the so-called white man. They should be grouping up together and trying to just go ahead and continue on running the world because they're all Edomites. But they're fighting against each other and they're separated, you know, and, 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 and their whole kingdom is falling right before them. Especially here in the Americas, you know what I'm saying? This is Babylon the Great. This is just one of those kingdoms, you know, or it's the main Edomite kingdom that's going to be torched, man. You know, so, and it's a lot of division in this country. So that's why it's falling like how it's falling. And that, that's a part of it, you know? So, you know, I'm going to end out there. We ain't got to go no further. You know, these comments, they, you know, like I said, again, it's a bunch of Republicans blaming Democrats. So they separated as hell. Uh... This person says it's funny to read this article. The rest of us knew last year that they were they were coming out with a cryptocurrency bricks 
to devalue the American dollar. And it's funny how already almost half of the rest of the world trades in that rather than the dollar because they don't like the West politics. Hey, man. Yeah, it's time for um Babylon the Great to fall, man. That's all that it is. This person says, come on, America. Don't be so naive. We can't blame Biden or the debt. It has absolutely nothing to do with that. But it does have everything to do with the world uniting together for the decline of the Western European alliances. It's more than just money. It's power and control. Bottom line, he who controls Africa controls the world. Now Africa is kicking us out, kicking out the U.S. and inviting China and Russia. Who can sustain without who? We are consumers, not producers. We're doomed. <laughs> uh, that's coming from a good old Alabama boy. I ain't never heard of you Eufa you follow Alabama. Hey, that was a good comment though. Yeah. Hey, it is what it is, man. And also, let me get one more. Let's go into the apocrypha for this one. I'll end out here. Beautiful times we're living in. Hey, that's why I say, man, it's high time to wake out of sleep and to repent, man. It's Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, also known as the Book of Sirach, chapter 25 and verse 7. And it reads, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and a tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing right now. So, you know, hey, you brothers and sisters, man, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, baby. Because we almost out of here. We almost out of here. It's just a few more major prophecies to happen. And man, them, them, hey, it's the way that it's moving. We're praying, we're hastening the day, though, man. You know, we we pray, man. It's gonna be soon, man. I'm sick of sick of this place, man. Sick of this place. Anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame, inshallah.